Hi, I'm Mike from Flowcrete and I present to you Hybrid Polystyrene Housing. These structures are modular and can be configured in most geometric configurations. These structures are also quick and easy to erect with semi-skilled labor. They are lightweight and offer excellent thermal and acoustic properties. A green home, well insulated, requires little energy for heating and cooling and will save you money in your electricity bill. The polystyrene used today is both environmentally friendly and complies with national fire regulations. What we've done is yesterday we cast the surface bed. Today we have drilled and doweled these white ends into the concrete and we are then putting a box around the reinforcing and we are going to concrete it. The next step is to plumb up the boxes and cast them with 25 MPA concrete. Putting a support into the box, down onto the ground. That's how we plumb it up, place the level. Put your next support in. The bottom of the columns need to be stayed so that they don't pop when you fill them with concrete. Thomas is just using some scrap shutter board to create the stay on the bottom to stop the shutter from popping. This dam side cottage was constructed in just 20 days. Reinforcing is doweled into the surface bed. Then shuttered boxes are lined up and plumbed in position. Then they filled with a 25 MPA concrete. The column shutters are gently tapped with a hammer to extract all the air pockets within the concrete. Polystyrene void formers are fitted between the concrete columns. They are set in regular mortar. Then mesh is wrapped around the entire structure, kept in position by these U-nails. A thin layer of plaster is applied as a key coat. Then the next day plastering can proceed. The shutterboard strips you see against the walls are acting as temporary supports keeping the structure in position while the plaster is applied. Then a ring beam is shuttered around the top of the walls, tying the entire structure together. Roof wire is set into these ring beams, so as to tie the roof to the substructure.
These hybrid cabins are perfect for the DIY person. We estimate the shell to cost about 1,800 Rand a square meter to construct. All the components to build this structure are included in the crate, along with a DVD instruction video. Cement, plaster sand and stone must be bought from a local hardware. The crate with its components costs about 1,100 Rand a square meter. Now, as you can see behind me, it does look slightly unsightly during the construction phase. But once the plaster goes on and it's all floated, then it looks much better. That's the main support that runs across the top of the roof, keeping the rafters in position. Rafters are then fitted with polystyrene void formers that clip on. Mesh Reference 100 is then laid on the polystyrene sheets and screeded with a 40 millimeter cement and river sand mix. The roof has a very shallow pitch, under six degrees. This allows for the easy fitting of solar panels and solar geysers. Plaster bands around the windows and doors are both decorative and functional. They act as reinforced strips that hold frames securely in position. This cabin in a crate is light enough to fit in a one ton utility vehicle and can be delivered anywhere. The roof is then waterproofed and painted. The walls are painted with a good quality plaster primer and two coats of PVA. For further information, visit www.flowcrete.co.za.